So once you've practiced section A on the melody sheet and you're confident, you're ready to have a go of recording. So before you record, make sure that the slider along the top ruler guide is at the beginning by pressing the return button, which is next to the play in the top in the center. Okay, now you're going to hear a counting of one, two, three, four when you press record. Then, as you can see on the melody sheet, you have to wait two, three before you play. So it'll go click, two, three, four, wait, two, three, C, D, E, F. Okay, I'll just demonstrate that with the record button now. Two, three, four, wait, two, three, click, 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 click. I'll stop it there so that I can demonstrate the beginning for you one more time. So I'm just going to undo my record. You can do the re-record as many times as you need to. Two, three, four, one, two, three. Click, click. Click, click. hear it back. Okay, so that's recorded fine. The last thing I'm going to do with it is quantization. So up in the top left, you see the track controls button, the picture of the sliders. We're going to tap on that and open up track settings. Tap on quantization. And the melody has some triplets in it, so we're going to select triplet and eighth triplet is the right value for this piece. So now any notes that I played slightly off the beat should be corrected. So we'll just flick it back to the start and have one more listen. There we go, so that's section A recorded. Take as many shots as you need until you've got that done. Well done.